sometimes there's little hacks that you can do that just have a huge impact. And like you said, it feels like magic is what a lot of parents will say. And I'll, I'll just give you guys a, two of the things I would say that are probably the biggest. Or th- I'll give you three. So one is the sentence, your good kid having a hard time. Because so often kids who are spicy, uh, well, all kids, I think, are so worried about being perceived as bad or being told that they're naughty. Uh, so saying things like, um, that was so naughty or don't be naughty or you're a good boy, you're a good girl. I always say to parents, like, let's just let's just take that out of it and instead say, you're a good kid having a hard time when they're having mm. a meltdown because what they often are feeling is that I'm bad and I'm unlovable because I'm having these ragey outbursts or whatever. So meeting them with that sort of compassion and stuff. Um, the second thing I would say is shame. A lot of parents don't realize how often they shame. Uh, why? Most of us were shamed as kids. And so it feels really normal. And so we don't realize we don't we can't see it, but that's what it mm. is. Um, and so some great examples would be like, um, Polly, you have your two kids sitting at the table and you might say to your daughter, you know, your brother's been sitting here for five minutes and he's eaten more than you. And look at you. You're older than him. You know, you're a big girl. You're four years old and he's sitting here for five minutes and he's eaten almost all of his dinner. And you've been sitting here for 20 and you barely have anything. Stop goofing off and start eating. Right. These Mm -hmm. little ways that we shame that we don't realize are actually shaming and making children feel bad about who they are like at their core. Right. And so spicy kids, especially cannot handle shame like shame is like their kryptonite it makes them feel 10 times worse it often leads to more explosive behavior and so even just that like stop stop, well being aware that you're shaming and then stopping shaming can be game changing with all kids but spicy kids especially um and then the third thing i would say is understanding brain development and understanding how different our brains are and how different their brains are so that example that you just gave of like when i started to meet her instead of meeting her with struggle and starting to meet her sort of me calming down then she would calm down is a great example of um, what you just described is the the difference between brain development. And so the cortex, the part of the brain that's responsible for forward planning, logic, emotional regulation, motivation, productivity, um, impulse control, um, all of that good stuff, that part of the brain, the cortex doesn't fully develop until you're around 25 to 28. And then you look at the amygdala, the other part that kind of drives behavior in children, which is all about like fear, um, safety, uh, protection, you know, the amygdala is just there to basically keep you safe. It's your security guard, right? And kids are predominantly driven by their amygdala because their cortex isn't fully online yet. So when we have these frustrations with our kids of like, they have poor impulse, impulse control, it's like, well, of course, dude, because the part of the brain that regulates the impulse is not there yet. So it's like, you can't get mad at them or think, or it's like, I think what a lot of parents do is they get mad at their kids, um, thinking you chose that behavior, you know, like, why mm. won't you listen? Why won't you sit at the table? Why won't you get your shoes on? Why won't you whatever? And it's like, no, 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 dude, it's not won't. It's can't. They can't get their shoes on by themselves. They can't remember 20 <clears throat> steps ahead. They can't sit still because their body can't regulate for that long. So I think those are kind of some three little nuggets that just implementing that shift can be powerful for families, especially with those with like strong little kids. But all parents, I think those are really great concepts to understand.